Hi, it's Dino, and I'd like to give you a quick tour of two policies in Apogee Edge that perform data transformations. Uh, one is called the XML to JSON policy, and one is called the JSON to XML policy. And I'll bet you can already tell what these policies do. Listen, if you deal with many different APIs, you're going to come upon an API that is delivering results or accepting input in a form that is not acceptable to you. So something that delivers JSON and you'd rather deal with XML or uh, something that delivers XML and you'd rather deal with JSON. Uh, these policies that I'm about to show you will help you deal with those kinds of conditions. So what I'm doing here is I've just created a new uh, Apogee Edge proxy. I've set it to be a uh, uh, no target proxy, which means it's actually just a loopback. And what that means is requests will come into Apogee Edge. Uh, Apogee Edge will run some uh, policies if they're configured and then return the results. One, I've created two flows here, one for XML to JSON, one for JSON to XML. And for each of those, I'll just attach the conversion policy. This one is XML to JSON. Let's just drop that in. Uh, and now I'll select the other flow and I'll add in the uh, JSON to XML policy there. So in that short amount of time, I've created an API proxy, which is now available and will uh, do these conversions. So let me flip over to a tool that I have that performs um, uh, requests, REST requests out, outbound. Uh, here I've got it set up to invoke the API proxy that I just created. Uh, this one will convert JSON to XML, and you can see the JSON payload that I've configured right there. Let's send that request. And you can see, sure enough, there's the XML that I get back. And uh, likewise, if I send in XML, very simple XML document, send in the request, and you can see the JSON that I get back. I can also send in a little more complicated uh, JSON and uh, convert that as well. Of course, that's uh, very easy to do, and even more complicated XML. Uh, likewise, that's going to convert to JSON very nicely. Um, so there you have it, a very simple way to configure policies to convert from XML to JSON. But you're thinking, well, gee, I don't want an API proxy that's just a loopback that converts and, and uh, like makes complete sense to me. More often, you will use these conversion policies when dealing with a backend service that is accepting or delivering data in a format that you don't wish to deal with. And to illustrate that, I've got a pre-baked API proxy that I've configured here that invokes the Yahoo weather service, which returns weather data in RSS format, which is a kind of a, an XML, a flavor of XML. And I've actually got two flows here. One that will invoke the uh, weather service directly without performing the XML to JSON conversion, and another flow which is identical, except it performs the XML to JSON conversion. Uh, same XML to JSON policy as I showed you previously. There's no additional configuration that you need to perform. I've got that Postman collection uh, that allows me to invoke these things, so I'll send in a request to that API proxy, and here's the unconverted response. You can see it's just XML. Uh, and if I want to convert it, I'll just invoke the, the other flow, uh, and you can see that exact same data is coming back as JSON. So that's it. What you've seen today is how to apply the JSON to XML and XML to JSON policies inside Apogee Edge. Thanks very much.